Hey guys, and welcome back to the Aaliyah Simone podcast. I know it's been quite a bit of time since I previously posted on my podcast, and that was on purpose. So this was heavily planned, but what I want to make sure I do for y'all today is start, look, I've been saying season four, season five, season four, season five. Let's just say, you know, it's season four since it's long form content but considering i have been doing a lot of shorts or like just short form content regardless if it's on youtube or ig or tiktok whatever the may be the case the main thing is that i've been having a lot to say and i really have been enjoying how short form content has really kind of increased and how I've used it on my platform, such are all my platforms, such as YouTube, and how it's kind of grown my channel a little bit more. And I'm really getting to see my audience and seeing who they are and knowing like what their interests are. And some of them have very similar tastes, uh, either like in music or just in things that I enjoy or really the reason why i even built a channel or podcast in the first place so i'm really enjoying part of that community and growing that more so as y'all know from the title or at least from the podcast title today i will be talking about the topic and i had uh this is sidebar i had previously did a little couple shorts about my topic kind of giving a little sneak peek but i honestly took it down it didn't get a lot of views anyway but i don't know i feel like me coming back with my long form content and then really kind of chopping up some of the conversations that you have in here is kind of the best thing that i can do but the topic without further ado if you haven't already read it is is love truly blind and honestly what really inspired me from that title was the show the tv show is love blind or love is blind yeah love is blind that's the show um and just to give you a little description of the show it's where you have i don't know how many exactly but let's just say for example you have 25 males and 25 females all single go into these rooms where they talk to each other and build connections based off emotion, mental, spiritual um, connections. And at the end of the time, at the end of their time there, or whenever they're in that, I guess, in that state, they would either end up proposing or they just don't continue forward with their relationship. So for the couples that end up getting proposed to and they obviously the woman says yes then they go to like this honeymoon um uh it's a lot of mixers slash activities they have for the honeymoon stage where they're kind of like really seeing each other physically for the first time because they only made connections based off of like emotional and mental and like spiritual connections it's very like an intellectual and emotional connection and so the point is really of the show is to kind of set apart uh physical attraction and emotional and mental attraction and spiritual attraction so really it just takes the physical part out of there in in the beginning and it lets it go in there towards the end of their time really like kind of courting each other and really like choosing who they're going to be with for the rest of their lives so i thought it was pretty cool it's to me i kind of oh yeah yeah let me explain it a little further so after the honeymoon stage then they go to the real world right where they uh, interact and in their lifestyles with their families um, how their day to day is going to look and kind of from there they'll truly see if they can actually be together and be a couple a married couple at that not just like boyfriend girlfriend like a married couple um, that's the point of the show is to get married 
um, and just taking some aspects away from the initial courting stages um, and yeah and then you get married like within four weeks ten weeks I don't really remember how long the process is probably like two to three months total but <sighs> it's a lot um, and uh, they have a reunion show uh, based on you know the couples who stayed married or um, the couples who made it to the altar but they said no uh so i thought it's a pretty like interesting show um an experiment for love as you can say but um i thought it was just pretty interesting to have people meet that way yes it's a tv show but it's just like how people meet that way uh in order to get married and meet their person is quite a journey and the thing is they have successful couples and unsuccessful couples, but the successful couples, you truly see like how their interactions, like in the pods, kind of like go into their daily lives and like how they interact with each other. It's pretty cool, um, pretty heartwarming as well, because you truly see these two individuals come together in like this unison way. Uh, that takes a lot of um, negative aspects about maybe dating, like being too heavy on physical attraction maybe sometimes or just too, I don't know what else I can say to it other than um, it takes away negative aspects about dating um, or like potentially like egotistical ways of how people like look at each other i don't know it's a lot to like come into that but the successful couples uh really have inspired me to know that love will always be there um and you just really gotta it's almost like you gotta take the chance i'm not gonna say like go find it because i am the type to say like once you stop looking for love is um when you find love <laughs> it's an old saying in a way but similar to um is love truly blind that's an old saying as well so is love blind in general <laughs> yes and the reason why i say um is love blind in general is because when you it's like love and lust right and when you meet somebody sometimes it could be in a lustful way and it can be mistaken as love um but the type of emotion that i feel that i know love is is very selfless and to think that a lot of people upon immediate interactions would be that selfless for another person just just like that is a lot and then also again this is a romantical relationship we're talking about are they going to be that romantic with their partner and you know go above and beyond um if if love was truly blind and like <sighs> that's kind of I don't know how to like say it any other way but like that's just kind of like an example i guess but some examples from like celebrity couples where i would feel like is love blind in one of them which you know kind of ended in ended in a, in a whole walk lawsuit case but um johnny depp with his girl i just think that love because I'm saying love is blind, even though that love was very much toxic, I think the blindness comes from not leaving or thinking that that is okay. The continuous abuse is okay. So I'm more so like maybe some celebrity couples that don't have similar qualities or similar physical backgrounds or cultural backgrounds 
okay and that just made me think of something um i don't know why i can't think of her name right now but she was in quantico and nick jonas's wife i don't know why i can't think of her name right now i literally was thinking of her name i think it was i'm so mad i can't think of her name right now she's so pretty but um they have completely different cultural backgrounds nick jonas is not i don't know if it was hindu i don't think it was hindu i don't know all the cultures like that how about this i know the cultures i don't know her specific cultural and spiritual background so there's that um is love blind for me I ain't gonna expose myself so i'm gonna say yes and no because i feel that i've had relationships where my love for them was always real i think the blind part where the love is blind may have gone uh may have been truthful would be when i Maybe I noticed the quality that kind of later on backfired um, within our relationship on them. So if, if let's just say this, something that they did or a characteristic or a quality or or trait that they were that was a part of them was either negative or maybe it was something I didn't want in a relationship and I went through with it still so that's where I would say is love blind for me yes is love blind for me for where I'm going to just be putting up with a whole bunch of like nonsense abuse whatever there is I'm just throwing stuff out there I'm not saying I experienced all those things I'm just saying like in situations where my life would be threatened no I don't think love is blind for me if that would ever to be happening I would cut that relationship off very quickly um so that's not blind for me i think it's kind of more like oh he kind of lies a little bit um <laughs> turns out he lies a lot of bit <laughs> later on in the relationship but um one thing that i want to start at least with my podcast is kind of incorporating god as much as i can and uh, one thing that i want to do is um because as y'all know on my channel on my social media basically i have been reading the bible every day um for y'all guys as much as i can and you know the goal is to finish the bible <laughs> excuse me the goal is to finish the bible um in its entirety and you know i want to do that um it's already been a desire for me uh for a very long time honestly since i got baptized which was 13 13 years and some months ago and um sorry y'all i'm gonna get this ready for y'all We should do it like that. So, um, the question basically is, is God's love blind? And I was going to say no. Um, he's all-knowing. So, truthfully, he knows who to love, when to love, how to love. Um, all of the above. <laughs> so, if anything, I wanted to at least talk about some scriptures of God's love for everybody because in the end at the end of the day we need to understand we have God's love first and then you know loving people within our overflow I talked about that with my stepmother the other day uh you know we can't just love people when we don't have anything or like anything to share or anything within our cup so when it comes to giving in which love can be something you give it's really something you should give in overflow when you are in overflow. But uh, that was just a sidebar. Let's read some verses on God's love or just scriptures on God's love. So 
Romans 5, 8, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Um, 1 John 4, 19, we love because he first loved us. Ooh. So he first loved us, and that's really how we even get to love in the first place. Um, Proverbs 14, verse 12. There is a way that appears to be right, but in the end it leads to death. Mm. Probably the way to be right is to love and fear God. That's probably what it means. Didn't I just read first John was one? Okay. We'll do first John four, nine through eleven. This is how God showed his love among us. He sent his one and only son into the world that we might live through him. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. So it really is our job and our duty to love one another. Um, and in that way, I can honestly say that that kind of expresses how love is aligned in a way because you're just supposed to love one another. So I don't want to say blindly loving one another because I don't want to make it sound negative. But with God's love and you love one another, you need to blindly love one another with God, uh, with God's love. So. Ooh. Oh, it's the chapter. No wonder it was like, what's going on? So yeah, those are some scriptures on God's love that I want to tell you, share with you today. Um, but I just kind of looked some up and honestly, one of them that popped up needed to pop up and that would have been one I read to y'all anyway. And honestly, to end off this podcast today, y'all, I hope y'all have been enjoying what we've been talking about so far. But is... Is this an old saying? Like, is this just an old saying? Like, let's just be real. Is love blind? It's like the same thing, like love at first sight or something like that. Is love blind? Yes, but I don't think this old saying is so is so entirely um an obstacle of finding love or being in love um or experiencing love so when you find it or have it obviously i'm going to tell you to keep it and cherish it but another thing i want you to understand is that Beauty is always in the eyes of the beholder. So is love truly blind? Sure. But that person chooses to love that person. So then really love is a choice. But anyways, y'all, I do want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Elias Simon podcast, y'all. We have a lot to catch up on. I know it's been some time, so I would love to continue on our journey of these topics. And we'll kind of get down to nitty gritty of some serious topics that you know what I'm not too afraid to talk about. So let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good rest of y'all's evening. And tune in next week for next week's podcast of season four. We're on season four. Okay, y'all. Okay, love y'all. Bye.